follows them, but she's not really happy to being here. I will protect you, Molly. Don't worry. I look at him. Say nothing. <laughs> oh. So it looks like um, just generally, I mean, you can tell you just generally that they don't have any. It doesn't look like you know they were they were killed. There's no gaping wounds. Um, it looks like they've been dead for at least several days, perhaps perhaps more than a week. Mm. And um, those people, I have a question actually. Those people, they have any mutations similar to the people we fought, or they are normal? They they look normal. They don't have any of these sort of fish. There's nothing fishy about them. And is there any hint that tells us how they died? Um, you'd have to give me a better perception on this. You can't see anything directly, um, but you can investigate the body and tell me what you do to try to try to figure that out. Oh, it's a 13. Yeah. So what do you do? Describe to me what you do and how you look. I just want to have a, a quick look at them. I don't want to touch them. Yep. I just want to see if I figure out, like if they have wounds or uh, anything yep. suggests. Yep. So you look at them a little more closely. Yes, you can indeed see that they, they appear to be been dead for quite some time. Uh, perhaps it's, it's more than initially thought. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's more like a month. You start to see, you see some some decomposition setting in, uh, which is is kind of gross. Um, but it's it's dry here at least. So they're not they're not waterlogged. Um, mm -hmm. You but you don't see any injuries. There's nothing about them, and you also don't see any sort of uh, you know any sort of disfiguration in their bodies. They look basically fairly calm. They're just piled in, in piles. So I, I talk with the team and they say, with a very small voice, I, I still think those people were infected by something and we are in danger by being here. Um, life is dangerous, Molly. We have to get used to it. Doesn't mean we have to be reckless. We have to be brave. Trust me. Um, Ferberus, give me a um, mm -hmm. perception check with your nose again. On oh, nosey. Okay, maybe my nose uh, is not that clogged up anymore. On the seawater. Let's see. Mm. Oh, better. That's a dirty 20. Wow. That's all right. Dirty 20 still works. Um, the one scent that comes to your nose more than anything else in this room and down below generally here um, is smoke. It is oh. a very, very strong sense of smoke. Yeah, you did say that. Like the cabin was charred, right? Yes. Uh, smoke, okay. Can I follow the scent? Yeah, you can try. Uh, all right, I'll just try to follow the scent. Okay. Survival check? Sure. All righty. Good, okay. Um, your, your nose, I mean, you, you, you sense the smoke sort of generally all over this, this entire area. Okay. Um, as if it had been filled with smoke at some point. Um, there are there is charring on um, a number of the uh, interior bulwarks, uh -huh. um, but your nose actually takes you back up the stairs. Um, okay. The so stronger, sort of more acrid, piercing smell of, of smoke and, and something underneath it, perhaps. Yeah, I'm trying to find out if it's still somewhere like, you know, burning or something. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing burning now, but you smell smoke and you smell something else that, that 
is associated with smoke somehow to you. Um, that is coming from the blood. All right. Something associated with smoke and fire. Something associated with smoke and fire. All right. I'll do a head bob or whatever. This wolf scan, like, follow me to the okay. others. Good dog, good dog. Where does it come from again? So upstairs, I think we went back up to the docks, right? Um, so that's, you, that's deck, deck. are you going back up there? That's where that's where the smell is. Um, yeah. The, the, this particular one. Do you go back up? Yeah, sure. I mean, if that's where my nose takes me, then sure. Okay, I trust okay. my nose. Um, rather than doing this whole map thing back around, let me just let me just describe to you, and then you can okay. say whether you, you stay up there or not. Um, because it takes a long to switch maps. Yeah. Basically, you, you 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 search around the deck area where you were, and um, give me another perception check. Another perception check. Alrighty. Yeah. How's an eighteen? Okay. It's fine. Um, and you find a um a, a s several patchy areas that are particularly scorched dark, and on huh. top of the smoke you get a sense of smell of tar. Oh. I guess I turn back into my um, my old man shape, because a wolf shape is not really good for explaining stuff, so... I, I smell smoke and tar. Uh, well, I'm not a magician, but seems like the ship has been sieged, or... I don't know. Either by magic or some other means. Oh, I'm always surprised when you do that. How come you come back to us again? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, to be honest, me neither. I'm not 100% sure how I'm doing it. I'm just focusing on, you know, Wolf. Maybe you can try it. Maybe it works for you as well. <laughs> Just think of a wolf mm. or whatever your favorite animal is. Oh. Just don't start in a cockroach, please. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'll think about it. Uh, maybe a, a falcon. A falcon. Can you do that? You're trying falcon. to turn into a falcon. Uh, well, I concentrate real hard. Huh. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I Not knew at it. my current read level. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> okay. Mm. Bizarre, mm. bizarre. So what do you do? You've, you've uh, discovered a little more information? You... Uh, I presume they were attacked. Maybe by other civilized folk who know, who know how to use, you know, fiery stuff. Nectar. So we have a look? Uh, look where? I mean, there's nothing else here to find. I mean, upstairs. But, um, Master, this area is completely underwater. Um, that area from, from what you saw was, it, it sort of started shallow and got deeper as, as you went in. Okay. Um, you have not yet. Well, let's see. Can you see that far? How? What? What's a uh, dark vision anybody has? I have no dark vision myself. I so, have. I have full dark vision. Elven dark vision. I think it's. Sixty uh, feet. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, okay. I turn to the animal guy and tell him, uh, "What about transforming to a fish?" I'll try. Okay. Concentrate okay, real me. hard. Show me, well, show me. Actually, you know what? Um, he he's gonna believe in him himself that he can do it. So he's gonna go to the to the edge and uh, jump in. Well, I guess there eh? and jump into the water and okay. concentrate on turning into a fish. Oh. And nothing happens. He just eh? splashes into the. <laughs> old man gets wet. <laughs> uh, so again, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not that high of a druid yet. <laughs> Yeah. I'm looking at him, uh, very, very perplexed, uh, like... Uh, so in, in, in the water, 
Oh god, damn it. Maybe I need more than just concentrate on something. Hmm. Are you okay, okay, old guy? Fervis, uh, give me one more um, perception. <laughs> okay. This time with my human eyes. Ooh, 18. Oh. Um, so as you're, you're getting to the water to, uh, to swim and sort of try your fishing uh, transformation, uh, you see behind you, deeper into the water, a shadow under the water. And it's oh. Oh. Ouch. And then... I, okay. <laughs> As I'm straining my beard from the water, I say, I'm fine, I'm fine, but watch that. <laughs> and emerges. Oh. oh crap. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Aww. More mermaids. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh hey, God. old man, why don't you step back? These creatures <laughs> um, come, you know, thrashing out of the water as you come as, oh you, my God. as, you, as you come into the water closer to oh. them. And the one, the the ones behind are are similar to the ones you saw before, um, but there's another one that is new that you have not seen. Let me see if I can get a picture of it for you. One second. I didn't oh, see that. oh, there's one more. No, no, there, there's four uh, things. This one, I think. Oh, this four. One oh, okay, my. Never seen before. Ah, yeah, it was blocked by my thingy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Looks like kind of this one. Oh, it's a tentacle That's creature. Ugly. Hmm. Um, mm. it looks very angry, and as it sees you, it lets out this this uh, ear-shattering screech. Yep. Oh, well. oh my God. My I, I try to communicate with this uh, animal. Okay, um, you can do that, but first, roll an issue. <laughs> ah. Oh, okay. Oh my God, that thing looks horrible. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh my God. Do I have to roll for like frightened or something? No, 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 no. not no. yet. Not, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> can we just get off this ship and go back to our big ship? I Basically. think it's a good idea. Uh, we, we don't have to fight fun. these guys, to be honest. Uh, I mean, uh, they are still in the water. If the old man can get outside, we can just hop on our boat and go back. I mean, I like his armor. It's pretty fancy. Yeah. Okay, initiative. Okay, initiative. Oh, no, I'm old man form. Initiative, where is my it. initiative? Remember, remember to uh, highlight your token, yeah. I did not do that, but that's fine. Uh, okay. Where is my initiative? Because I roll again and then I edit. It was a 10 first. Uh, initiative, initiative. Where is initiative inspiration? Sorry, where is initiative in the, in the sheet? Uh, should be above your HP. Your current H hit points. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. That's it. Oh, great. Let me see if I can sort this. Oh, I am screwed. <laughs> you have a 26 initiative, so you probably can. Uh... No, no, no. I mean, I rolled the 10 first. I just rolled again because ah, I, I didn't take my token, unfortunately. Okay. That's what I get. I'll pull you out. Um, oh, my God. It's okay. Okay. Uh, Molly, by the way, just, just to be totally clear, sorry about last time, um, all of your magical powers are all fully awoke. Okay. Hey. So... Actually, so can I take action? Yes. So Molly basically sees that the old man is in danger. 
at that point, she decided to do something useful for the team. And I summon my twin here. Hmm? You've got a twin. You've got a twin? What? Oh. Who are those people? So oh, they have not... to... They have to roll um, these three monsters. These, yep. these, these. They have to roll a uh, dexterity save. Yep. Uh, with DC... I see, it's my spell one, let me check. Yep. It's oh, a DC 13. 13. 13 to DC. avoid taking 7 damage. Okay. Uh, 13 or 7 damage. I was looking at this druid. This druid is so cool. It is really cool. Uh, I'm starting to grab do this one second. Um, I had a hunch that you were going this one just by staring at the sun. Uh -huh. I was like, hmm, <laughs> could it be? Oh, I, I think, uh, did you still see the initiative token? It disappeared for me. Uh, oh, I must have turned it off accidentally. Is it back on now? Okay. Yeah, it's back. Sorry about yes, that. Yes. I didn't realize okay. if I turned mine off, everyone just goes out. Mm -hmm. Trying to get some dust space. Okay. Um, so basically, you see, you see manifesting a uh, exactly twin of Molly, but made kind of an ethereal ver version of her that is flying above the sea, and she's like in Buddhist fire. Oh. Do you want to describe what happens when you summon her? Exactly the effect that happens? Yeah, basically, uh, as I told you, Molly takes courage and their eyes sparks bright at that moment. She opens her arms and you can see like, like if a sprite comes from her heart and reaches that destination and then manifests there. Wow, <laughs> that's intense. Yeah. Okay, so there's a giant flash of light, am I right, around these creatures uh, of searing heat? And yeah. the uh, first one that will roll is the, the tentacled creature. Yeah. Did that roll? I didn't roll. I didn't roll. Oh, you did. Did it roll? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm yeah. Not yeah. Uh, 11, so we failed, right? Yeah, seven. basically, if they fail, they take seven fire damage. Otherwise, right. they dodge it completely. They right. take zero if they can DC it. And we will do, sorry, we can check this, guys. Taxes. Wow, it's 2d10. Wow. Oh, this is pretty, pretty cool. good. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we'll do this three times for these three. Um, so two of them passed and one failed. Okay, so one of them takes seven damage. Yeah. So and this was my action. Let me uh, uh, roll yeah, for which sure. one. Is there somewhere? Roll for which one failed. So the um, one on the far side of you failed its save, and it is engulfed in flame. Hey. And your nice. your uh, your twin is still there, right? Yes, yes, of course. Okay, great. And then, as a bonus action, mm -hmm. I the twin casts um, a fire seed on the on the one that was wounded of the tree. Okay, I'm sorry, you're casting a what? It's a, it's a hit. It's a hit that does 23 to hit, so I guess. Okay, got she that. hit. Oh, just, sure and does yep. eight, the, 8 the mage. I rolled uh, very good. No. And it's 8 damage? Fire damage? No. Yeah. Mm, I'm just going to check this one thing quick. Where's the no? Yep, that works. Okay. It, and that's all. Got it. Okay. So it gets hit by this this uh, this this searing 
bolt of flame and screams and thrashes its tentacles around, um, but it's still standing. It's uh, singed, but does not look does not look too too hurt. Sure. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. This was my turn. Eleanor. Uh, well, I would like to attack with my short pole, so I'm gonna attack without moving. And I would like to attack um, that guy. Okay. This is the guy, the hurt one, right? This guy's hurt. The one that was uh, that was injured is the is um. How do I do this? This one. Ah, did I just delete that? I just yeah. delete it. <laughs> the model disappeared. Disappeared. Good. Good. <laughs> nice. Nice. It got scared, yeah. Wait one sec. Okay, that one. Okay, I'm gonna attack this one then. Okay. And I think one of the of those guys disappeared too. There was another one here, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, the one that was there was uh, destroyed by the fire, by the blast of uh, fire from the twin oh really wow yeah. amazing i'm so strong yeah so i tried to attack with my short pull so seven seven does not hit it goes the, the arrow goes streaking past and uh narrowly misses the, the creature behind it and Okay, um, as a bonus action, I would like to throw my rope at this creature and try to entangle it in my rope. I will throw mm -hmm. the rope and, like, put it in circles, basically. Try to tie the rope around this one, the hard one. Trying to, just trying to think mechanically, um, that would be another action. Ah, it's uh, my, uh, uh, which one is it? Uh, fast hands. I can use it to take uh, use an object action as a bonus action, basically. Oh, so you can use an object action as a bonus action. Yes, that's okay. my fast hands. Okay, that's very good. So you're gonna you're gonna basically take a rope and you're gonna throw the rope and like try to lasso it or something or. Yeah, basically, I'm I'm trying to make him get get entangled in the rope because she has lots of pendants behind that. Can you just describe to me, you know, narratively, sort of how you envision? <coughs> The, the throw going and the rope going, so how, how I can visualize I'm throwing it in a circle, basically. Like, uh, if you throw it in a circle, like, uh, moving it in the air around like a fan and then throw it so it just goes around here, basically. Okay. okay. Like they used to do a long time ago when riding a horse and tying somebody with a rope sign, I see. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm trying to do here. Okay, sure. Go, go my on. my rope is, is, is 50 feet, so it, it can reach or less. So I will try are you, to. Are you hanging on to one end of the rope, or you're? Yeah, definitely. Unless she tries to push me, and she's more stronger than me because I'm a halfling. I'm the okay. from go of the like, rope. Just to understand, is there like a loop? I mean, have you the, the rope? I guess is 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 not tied on one end yet, is it? Or is it? Do you have you tied this into a lasso before? Or? Um, well, to... I, I could tie it here. There is a pillar kind of thingy right right behind me. The thingy. I could tie it to this pillar then. No, 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 but what I mean is, is so the way I picture a rope, right, is yeah. if first, first of all, I get, you know, we'll put aside where the rope is, um, but let's say you have it out with you. Um, but a rope is just going to be sort of coiled. So you're going to have one end of the rope is just a, an end of a rope. So um, I guess you'd have to, you'd have to throw it and somehow it would have to hit the person on a tentacle or an arm and wrap around it. And somehow lock in place in order for you to get into sort of purchase. Is is that right? Well, I'm just trying to envision how it works to so I can sort of figure out what kind of difficulty rule I'm gonna give you here. It's not gonna be an easy one, I'm gonna tell you that up front. Huh? But you can try. Okay, how far is this for me first? Let's see. It's uh five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, right? So basically. I threw it around it. I tie it one time and hold the other side of the rope. If I could, like, there's, there's, there's no time to tie it. I, I'll yeah. let you. No, 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 no. I'll not, let you throw it and hold no. on to it. But, but the point I'm, is, the point yeah, is I'm that, not tying. 
the, the point is, tell me if I'm wrong, but but the end the end of the rope you're throwing, there's no loop in it. It's just an end of a rope. So the rule I'm going to tell you to do, um, and uh, I'm going to ask you to roll a d20 in a second, is to see if you've got this rope that you're throwing about 30 feet to see if it can wrap around this creature <coughs> the way you sort of flick it, and if that if that can somehow snag this creature. So. It's it's a pretty it's a pretty um, difficult in my mind thing to I'm, do. I'm a thief. I'm I'm good with tools. That's why I'm I'm like it should be easier for me than anybody else. Basically, it would be easier for you than anyone else if you have a high dexterity. So we're gonna see. It's, so it's a sleight of you, hand. So give, give me. Let's see. Give me what, what kind of role do you think is appropriate? I think it's a sleight of hand. A sleight of hand, or whatever you wanna say. It's a sleight of hand. I'm not mistaken. All right, I'll let you do it on this one. I'll, I'll, uh, uh, and I'm going to, during the, uh, the downtime, we'll, we'll think about this some more for the, for the future ones. Go ahead, give me a slide of hand roll. Let's see what you get. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. All right. You know what? I'm going to give the, this guy um, disadvantage on his next um, on his next attack roll as a yeah. result. Yeah, perfect. Like, I was just trying to hinder it, basically. Yeah. Like, if it can lose its turn, that's good. It was, not, it was at least creative. It's advantage. It was creative, and you had a, you had a great roll. So so let's roll with it. I'm, I'm not entirely sure about it mechanically, but it was a pretty awesome idea. So let's go. I could it. just hit him with a rope as well. Yeah, <laughs> but look, I mean, I think I think you definitely distracted him no matter what. So we're going to give him disadvantage. Um, okay, cool. Um, is that your turn? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, sorry, boy. Uh, oh, did I turn off the tracker again? Sorry, I keep doing that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Cool. All right. Uh, it is the tentacle creature's turn. Um, so the tentacle creature has let out this, this horrible screeching sound. Um, so I need... Let me check the distance here. Yep, I need everybody to give me a... Um, a wisdom saving throw. And I'm looking for at least a 13. 21 from me. Ah, horrible yeah. beast. Uh, yeah, uh, that, was, that was a wrong one. Halflings have, oh, have advantage, I... remember. I'm sorry, you have advantage? Uh, I... uh, halflings do, I think. Oh yeah, yep, okay. Or maybe just stout halflings? No, it's I think all halflings. Do you have, yeah, have things of advantage on fear. Nice. On fear, only fear. They are, they are brave. They are brave. And oh, see, because you rolled is, that is, one, is this you a, can re-roll no, that. No, 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 no. I, I rolled, I rolled uh, like three times because the first time I rolled a normal wisdom was a saving wisdom. Uh, okay, okay, okay. But, but then I realized that it's still zero, so actually the first roll counted. So it's like the first yeah. and the second one just ignores the last one. So it's 11 here. Okay. So, um, let's see. So, Molly saves. Um, Purvis saves. Um, where is and Elvin saves? Okay. So, Z, you are stunned. The this, the the uh, the sound of the screeching coming from this 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 uh, this this horrible tentacle creature's maw um, has absolutely shocked you. Your ears are ringing. And you're you're stunned uh, for one turn. Okay. Hi. Wow. Um, That's who is it? Was his disadvantage? Yeah. No, it's not. There's no. There's no. He would have it. He has a disadvantage on being attacked, but he's not doing that. So you're stunned. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, he's going to attack um, the... I think you got uh, rid of the initiative order again. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> cool. Sure. All right. He's going to attack the uh, clone of Molly. Yeah. She has only 13 AC. Oh, he can be killed? Oh, boy. So let's see if I can do this right. I'm trying to do all this in the now, but I have to do it a different way. None of my shortcuts will work. I'm putting their hit points and SC on the token for you. Okay, thanks. Appreciate that. Okay, so it slashes out with a claw. And it looks like it hits. Oh my god. 
Wow. Oh, boy. Oh. Yes, okay, she she lost 10 HP. 10 HP. There's one more attack, it will try to bite. Oh, wait, you know what? That's just advantage. Did, it, did a 15 go? What was, what was her AC? Yeah, so you still hit. Still hit, okay. And let me check. It, it was not a critical, so the mage will still beat them. Okay. Just, they just roll very high. Yeah. Okay. So then she's going. The uh, creature is going to bite out at your, uh, at your clone. So and it's still a hit, and it's five D eight. <laughs> oh my god. She's isn't thinking. It, isn't it awful how the DM always gets the, the great rolls? It's it's really it's yeah. really unbelievable. It always... It's okay. It was dangerous to some it there. But uh, I did it purposely to save the team uh, at least one turn. That is. This the was end. brave, my friend, my little friend. That's the end of a tentacle creature's turn. Now it's Elvin's turn. Uh, Elvin doesn't like this uh, beast at all, so he's uh, having his bow uh, at the ready, taking a few steps back to aim better, uh, going into the corner of uh, the boat, and. Uh, Firing his arrow as fast as possible, then. Um, okay, so you're going to do a movement and you're going to shoot at which yeah. creature? Uh, at the, uh, the one that is wounded is dead, right? Uh, all three of these are still alive. Um, the one that was wounded is sort of the tentacle creature, but he doesn't look all that wounded. He was hit a couple of times. Oh. Uh... Well, I'll take the, the one that is closest to me, the, the big guy. Okay. So let me roll for longbow. Here we go. It's a 15. Uh, 15 hits. It does, and it's a 10 piercing damage. Okay. So you hit it squarely in its shoulder and it looks at you and screams. <laughs> And roll perception for me. Perception. Okay. Perception. Perception. Da, 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 da. Yes. Wow. You um, when you, when the thing screams at you, you then hear another screaming from up above, back <laughs> in the deck area. Um, okay. Uh, I'll. Uh, do I have a bonus section? No, I, I do have a bonus section. If you have one, you can take. You yeah. Have, can have I uh, can I roll for a spell? Uh, speak with animals. Mm, I think that would be an action. Wouldn't it? I think that's an action. Uh, okay. So that's about it. Okay. Um. Very good. It is. Fergus. Oh. Okay. Well, Fergus is. Like he believes that the little girl is just you know. Like, he thinks that that is actually the little girl, uh, not a spirit, so he's going to be like, Little girl, be careful! Uh, and uh, he's going to wipe, well, actually, I mean water. That's actually very advantageous, because this spell needs a drop of water. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 five feet, okay, cool. So he's going to... Uh, yeah, he was training his beard, so he's going to use that uh, the water on his hands and flick his index finger at... Let's see. Well, I don't want to hit the little girl, so I'm probably... Oh, wait, I can't. Well... You, you can heal it. Heal it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not sure how this spell works. I mean, I, I do, but probably Dane doesn't. So he's going to target this guy, but that's going to basically get everyone else around. And then he's going to say, oops. Um, so for this one, I'll need to make a ranged spell attack, which is plus five. Okay, let's do it. And unfortunately, this is not a PHB spell, so I couldn't add it. As a macro, the 20 plus 5. I might not hit actually. Uh, yeah, that's a 9. It's not gonna hit, but 
even if it fails, hit or miss, the shard explodes, and the target and each creature in five feet needs to make me a deck save. Okay. And my DC is, and I guess your spirit as well, Andrea. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be a DC 13 deck save. And if you succeed, you take zero damage. If you don't, you take 2d6 cold damage. This is the monster first. Uh, don't fail. kill my spirit. I mean... Well, this is basically panicking. Like, first it's panicking. <laughs> trying to cast a spell that he doesn't really remember what it does. <laughs> I love it. This is awesome. What's the damage? Um, yeah, let me roll 2d6. Do you want to roll them? How do you want to roll them? Let me do all my other saves first and then you can decide. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's do that, Sam. Yeah. Because I'll just roll once. Yeah, yeah, I'll just roll yeah. once. If you want to do that, it's fine. Yeah, let me check something and I will roll. Okay. Sorry. I and mean, if your spirit is immune to cold damage, then that would be amazing. Okay, those two She's make not. it. She's She's not. Not. So. I'll let you decide, DM, who, who's going to take. Okay, at six. least she has a she has a very good save. At least. Okay. Uh, it's a plus six d twenty plus six. Please dodge it. Oh, yes. Okay, you're good. Okay, Anshinsta. All right, so one of the guys takes six points of cold damage. Everyone else is safe. So twenty. The reason, yeah? uh, six, six points of cold damage. Six points of cold damage. Yeah, so one of them, uh, I guess. It's, it's uh, the main guy. It's the uh, the one that's it's the, the main dude. Is the main dude. And well, the reason why it didn't do that much damage because I'm soggy and wet. <laughs> and uh, I guess it's. I'll just take a step back, kind of out of the water, but I'm like very slow. So, uh, let's see. Oh, you're there. <laughs> and uh, Ferris looks confused as to why there are two girls. <laughs> why there are two little girls. The okay. creature um, is now shaking its head. It doesn't clearly doesn't like the cold. Um, it does look it does look hurt now with um, all the. Uh, all the hits constantly from, from each of the each of the party members. Um, okay, it is now this one will, I guess, um, attack the spirit. What happens if your spirit dies? Disappears. <laughs> Hope that doesn't happen. Um, Does it explode before it disappears? That'd be cool. No, unfortunately not. Oh. All right. Uh, all right. So it lashes out with its, um, with its clawed webbed hand. Oh my God! Miss, that's a miss, right? You say they, they were a disadvantage. Please, you say they were a disadvantage, right? Uh, not oh this one, no, that was the, the big one, and it, it, it had oh. damage. These are the small fish, yeah. These uh. are the small fish, um, and uh. it's a critical hit. Thank so you. It, um, <laughs> it lashes out and uh, does a total of six damage. Okay, I think you can delete the icon. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> Everybody feels so heartbroken that that uh, a, uh, a no. duplicate of, of your friend has just has just been uh, crushed by this uh, this sea hag. Okay, and the other one will move forward to here, and we'll take a swipe at Fervus. Yeah, he can have advantage because I'm basically confused. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what <laughs> happened. Uh, we'll see what happens. Drew. Okay. 
Um, I'm not, not even looking in that, 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 that direction right now. I'm just flabbergasted. All right. Okay. Ten. Hmm. Is it ten? Do you oh, no, it no. Ten? No, it doesn't. Doesn't hit good. Okay. No, somehow. <laughs> Swipes and misses. Uh, but it's just looks so damn fishy creepy. Um, okay, that's it for the their turns. It's Molly's turn again. Okay, I guess uh, a bit disheartened, disheartened by uh, the, what happened. I take my last energy and basically summon her again. <laughs> okay. So I will summon her here. And all the fish guys, even this one, they need to make a DC 13 uh, <clears throat> safe check, dexterity check. Ooh. Otherwise, they take 13 damage. Wow. Well, sorry, where, where are you summoning her? Here. Oh, really? Okay. Each, so... e each creature within 10 feet of the place oh, she perfect. was summoned perfect. needs to make a DC 13, yeah. Okay. All right, let's start with the big guy. Uh... Fail. And let me do the other ones. Two of these guys. And they get this. So, so one pass to one of the little ones pass. I won't tell you which one. So big is the top, small is the bottom. Uh, the bottom one failed. The one closest to your uh, to your um, your twin failed as did the big guy. So what happens? They get tangled. Basically, when I summon the spirit, yeah. it gets summoned in a, it appears in a kind of circle of flames. That's why they take this dam damage. And what's, what's the damage? Oh, it's, it's a 13. 13, 13 got yeah. it. Okay, so yeah, this, yeah. this one erupts into a, into a uh, the, the small one to a pillar of flame and sinks down into the water. Gone. Oh, there's the other one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's to cover it up. Um, and the other one uh, looks badly injured. Its, its tentacles are now smoking. Um, one of them looks looks burnt and almost almost falling off. Then this time, instead of using the fire seed as a bonus action, I let the spirit take a, a dodge action. <laughs> okay. And my turn is done. That's yeah. smart. Yeah, definitely. I should have done it before, but I'm not used to this class set yet. Yeah. It's very cool. This one doesn't okay. I'm gonna put this guy in the initiative just to get him on there. I forgot where I deleted the wrong one. Um I don't know where it goes. That's not good. I'm not used to this tracker. Um, okay, well, let's just go with it. I think it was um, after Elvin, if I remember right, is where this tentacle was. It's not Z you now. So it's, yeah, it's Z. It's a Z turn, yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm stunned, right? Oh, you're stunned, correct. Yep. I was right. So you're not sure what's happening, but your ears are ringing. Um, Molly, give me a perception check. Sure. Nice. Wow. Okay, you see um, sort of in, in this area over here, a shadow that seems to pass um, between the hull, the crack in the hull, and this rock. So it looks like it's from outside the ship and it looks very large so something from outside the ship is getting inside yes that's what's happening well so it, it doesn't look like it's coming it looks like it passed by mm -hmm. okay um elvin's turn okay um i will shoot the the thing that is close to the twin with my bow okay 
uh, where is my bow? So I, I try to really shoot this uh, carefully. Yes. You hit. And I do 10 piercing damage. And it drops. Yes. And, and then drops. as um, my second action, I uh, move closer to... Uh, to uh, whoever this guy is. Um, ah, sorry, I forgot your name, Roberto. Mm -hmm. Fulven, Fulven, right? Just call me Dane. Dane, okay. <laughs> so I move closer to Dane and then draw my sword, my swords. Okay. And that's it for my uh, actions. Um, it is now... I would say it's Furbus' turn. I've lost track of the. Yeah, it's Furbus' turn now. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I'm not in combat form, so he's gonna turn back into Wolfie as a bonus action. And uh, I can do my Wolf thing. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's see, uh, plus four, let's see if I actually hit. Uh, so I'm just gonna try to, what's it, bite, I guess, it's a bite attack. Damn, I'm rolling nines, I guess that doesn't hit. Is, uh, hold on, I just want to check, I don't think so, I'm sure it doesn't. Nope. Oh, wait a second. Uh, no, you're not next to him, so no pack tactics, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh, that's fine. I'll try to swipe at him. Oh no, wait, I used my bonus action, so I can't. That's that's what I can do. That's the end of my turn. But I'm a wolf. Okay, great. Wait. Um, the fish thing will lash out of the wolf. Yeah. And that's just my HP. Alright. Wow. Go for it. Oh, um, is that with advantage, right? Uh, it's not advantage, so I'm going to oh, it's, an eight. Oh, eight? No. Yeah, yeah no. Yes. So it misses. Well done, doggy. Well done. Woo. Oh, where is your master, by the way? <laughs> huh? And, it gives uh, you the Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Yeah, I think it, 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 it looks around and sort of looks worried, but doesn't see anything can, it can, anywhere it can go. So it, it just stares there hissing at you. I will try to capture this thing. I yell to the other. That's actually not a bad idea. I say, I say stay on guard. I saw something getting inside the ship. Oh, it's Molly's turn. Molly. Yeah? Molly. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I, I told you guys, yeah. I saw something. So be careful. The creature. The creature is just. She's she's really not doing anything. Oh, did she she attacked. She missed her attack, and so she's she doesn't have anything else to do. She can do right now. She sort of looked like she was trying to figure out a way she could run, uh, but she's kind of surrounded here. So she just faced off against the wolf and is hissing at the wolf uh, menacingly. And I'm sorry if the guys wants to take the creature, but they will attack her. So I will, I want to move here yep. and okay. I will, I will do this. That's a firebolt. 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 There is some magic at work here. 
pierces <laughs> yeah. straight through really? the creature's chest, leaving a blackened hole that goes all the way through, and the creature, dead, sinks into the water. Hey. Then the spirits moves here. Oh, there's two of you. What kind of sorcerer <laughs> is this? And uh, I point at the direction. I point at the direction of the shadows, and they say, "Be careful! There is something there." Everyone, give me a perception. Alrighty, based on sight, I suppose. Perception. You can do hearing. Hearing is fine. Oh, hearing is fine. Okay. Twenty-two Elvin. from me, Elvin. Elvin, so this is good. The 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 sounds you hear before the screeching sounds yep. above deck, you, you hear them getting louder. Nope. Above deck or somewhere else? Above deck or above you? They're from where you hear oh. sounds sort of emanating through the the hatch. You can't tell from down here exactly where they are, but there's. It's not the. It's not like the super super shriek of the the big tentacle thing. It's more just the sounds of these creatures that that were. That you've heard already. People, there are more of them. Let's try to to ambush them. Ambush? Let's just get the hell out of here. <laughs> Why would we stay here when we know, we know we are surrounded? And more will come because we are in their territory, basically. I'm moving stealthily towards the, the place where they were uh, observation from. Uh, if we are not in combat. Can I try to um, do something to reassure Z? Eleanor, right? You're out of combat? Since we are out of combat, right? Is there anything I can do to reassure Z? Is Z still frightened? No, I'm not frightened. I'm just saying ah, that okay, we okay. need to get the hell oh. out of here. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, from before, he also. I, I, just to clarify, yeah. it, was, it wasn't frightened before either. He was stunned. It was, it was a song. Oh, song. I see, I see. I see. Yeah. Well, actually, I, I tend to agree with her, but th that guy is already there. <laughs> yes, I'm moving stealthily. Is there anything uh, that I'm uh, noticing? Wow. Um, yeah, give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, perception, perception. Here we go. No. <laughs> Oh, okay. There's nothing there. <laughs> but you are still seeing, right? You shouldn't be shouting. Okay. What are you guys going to do? <laughs> I'm, I'm pausing time for a moment to let you guys catch your breath and think, but the clock is going to start to run again here in a second. Uh, I just stay ready, since the health is there. Are you going that way? Oh, why not? I'll try to wolf swim my way behind. Good dog. Good dog. I still don't understand where your master is. Have you seen your old magician guy? Uh, he just gives you the eye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Hmm. Okay, I wonder what's here. I guess I'm gonna swim out here and just sniff around. Okay, yep. So you're you're back sort of up um into dry area again. Let me clear some more of the space. And um you see there's another cabin back there. Um this actually looks like a cabin. So you could go explore that. Uh -huh. Um, as Elvin gets near me, I do the dog thing. And you do see, um, you know, again, here, as you're now coming out of the water, you see, again, a lot of smoke damage down here. There's, there's uh, charred, burned areas. And through these open doorways in this halfway, you can see more bodies inside. Oh, my God. What is this ship? Um, there is a stairway leading up there, which you assume is to the cabins on the other side. Mm -hmm. 
guys, do you realize that we left our boat on the other side of this ship? Oh. Did you see the opposite side here? Somebody, something uh, is popping. Oh, oh, oh hello. Oh. No, okay. I, I actually Let's didn't see up. that. Okay. Sorry, for wrong one. I actually didn't see that. <laughs> uh, I'm just I... sniffing around in a corner. We can barricade ourselves uh, in the cabin with uh, bodies. Um, y there are doors. You could you could barricade yourself. There's also a stairway leading up um, from here. But, but is this real? Yes, those, these are creatures now. You see them coming towards you. So. All right, upstairs. Yep. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. You, you the wolf runs the upstairs. The, you get to the top of the stairs, and the hatch is barred. Oh. <laughs> Bar. I, guess, I guess iron bars, right? Looks barred now. They look the the, the uh, hatch looks damaged. It looks burnt, scorched, mm. and um, the uh, it looks like it's been battered some as well. Oh, could I do a headbutt? Try to force my way through the bar. You can you do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, can, can we act? Can yeah. I act? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, do some. Okay. Okay. I'll draw my sword. I have two attacks with my sword, so I do two attacks with okay. my sword. So one, on two. Wow. Strong, 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 strong. So I hack a lot uh, on this door. Does it work? It, you definitely do a lot of damage to, to the, uh, to the uh, area around the, the lock. Um, somebody give me um, one athletics check, or, or you can actually do an assistive athletics check. Oh, I can try to do that in my wolf form, if you okay. don't mind. If you don't mind, uh, wolf, oh, damn it, why did I close it? Sorry, wolf, wolf. Da -da -da. I, want, I want to do something, Plus stop one. moving then. Um, um, uh, did you see just, I just, uh, I want to do this. Did you do see it. the, okay. So you got, okay. and you, while you were moving them, did you see the red square as well that I put? Yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. 10 athletics, probably not. Wow. Um, okay, that doesn't quite do it. So what's going on here with Molly? What's this with the red square? I'm casting that spell. <coughs> okay. And I did it three to hit. I need to hit three times. It's one to this guy, one to this guy, and one to this guy. I casted a Scorching Ray. Wow. Okay. So whoever I hit takes 2d6 fire damage. Okay, go ahead and roll it. Sure. Nine. That's to hit? No, to hit, I already rolled them. As you see, there are three rolls. Oh, that's what this are. So 20, 13, and 12. Okay, all three of those yes. hit. And all three of them get nine damage? Yes. Okay. So this guy, yep. this guy, and this guy here. Okay. So this one and this one have burst into flame. Then, as a bonus action, I use the fire seed on this one. So let's see if I hit. Oh. Yes, oh. I guess I hit five damage. Nice okay. roll. Okay. He's not, he's still up, he's still coming. Okay. Someone give me an athletics check if you want to try and do one last thing to uh, try and force this door. I'll uh, try to hack again with my uh, two swords. Okay. One, two. Wow, that does it. The door bursts open. Yeah, hey. come on, people. Let's go. Uh, no, no, no. Before that, before that, I light up that oil. Just saying, that oil is lit up now. If they want to pass, they need to go through the flame now. Okay. Just saying. Oh. Well, we probably don't see this because we are on the way out, actually. But uh, well done. I smell burning again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Weird. It's coming from downstairs now. Would I say, if I wasn't a wolf? Okay. Oh yeah, we over there. Huh? Oh, there is a boat. There is a small boat, people. It's our boat. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> Well, my elf has just ten intelligence, so forty. Or I think nine. Sorry. Or, yeah, he's got a nine for intelligence. Okay. So, um, what do you guys do? Where are I'm, we? 
I'm personally in complete darkness. Yeah, we are in what? complete darkness. We can't see this. Hold on, hold on, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I have no memory of this place. There we go. Oh, oh I lost so, my. So we here then. I lost. I lost my spirit. She stayed. Oh. <laughs> to protect us. <laughs> How brave. <laughs> Yeah, the gods will remember her. And then we're just joking about putting more oil around this area just in case they come up. TV is too oil, sir. Um, I'm just joking about like splashing some oil on that uh, the stairs just in case they try to come up. Okay, do, do you want to do that? Um, I'm asking everybody now. Because as uh, it might be like, oh, you're, are you trying to burn us? So, yeah, go yeah. for it. Okay. What are you guys doing? Um, now... Let's go to the boat. Yep, I endorse that idea. Okay. Can we open the door and get out? Yes, easy. Oh, okay. okay. Ooh. More water. Okay, we start <laughs> to swim. 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 <laughs> ah, boat. Okay. Eh? I'm under the boat. I want to be a boat. We are under it. Yeah. I actually stop yeah. on the stones and try to get a vantage point to look around. Okay. If there's anything. Sure, yeah, give me give me a perception check. Yay. Pa, pa, pa. This is gonna be normal roll because I'm looking. Nah. Nah. No, nope. okay. And I jump in the boat. Okay. Ah, missed. Yep. <laughs> missed the boat. So you all get in the boat, you start rowing away furiously, I assume. Very firstly, um, out of the uh, the hatchway, you see one badly burned uh, creature, sort of crawling, half half crawling its way huh. towards you, but not very effectively. It's it's definitely been burned as it tried to make its way through the oil patch. Um, and you guys can uh, make your escape. You're in the boat. Um, do you what do you do? You row back to the Doncast, or? something else i have a moment of doubt and i said the creature looks half dead we could go back and finish it you want to just go along and tell us what happened later hmm. and then when i see the look of my uh, companions uh, i uh, i shut up <laughs> on, on, on throwing i mean if you want to take a pot shot with your short bow by the way, if I remember from last adventure, you are quite wounded, right? Ah, uh, don't mention, it's just a scratch. I'm quite wounded, actually. Eleanor just oh, says... Uh, the, 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 halfling, the halfling is quite wounded, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Eleanor just saying that casually, like, it's nothing. Yeah, actually, I'm quite wounded, but I don't remember... Uh, yes, I have... Uh, yeah, I'm quite wounded. Is this for the halfling? Well, Eleanor just says she's down to 11 HP right now. Just yeah, I, 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 heal, I heal 7 to you. 7 to you, Z. I'm 18 HP. And oh, then... Thank you. Uh, actually, I should have used Cure Boom, but whatever. Then these to the yes. health. 9 to the health. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. You are a good friend, my friend. Thank you. Very Stop much. putting yourself in danger, guys. So, where are you rowing? Are you guys on. Um, I think we're going back to the Dawncast. The Dawncast, okay. I yeah. think that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. You row back there, it's not that far out by the E anchored maybe, I don't know, 200 meters um, away. So you get back to the Doncast and Captain Glover is waiting for you on the deck. 
and he sees you and he, 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 he looks shocked. He, he, you guys are obviously bloodied and injured and all of this happened with, in a place where he couldn't see what was happening. And he says to you, what, what happened? Who wants to explain? I'm still a wolf. <laughs> uh, I look at the captain and says, uh, this place uh, looks like it's infested by uh, horrible monsters and, uh, and marine uh, creatures and are best left alone. What? Yes. That's, that's, that's insane. Um, so uh, what, what was it? You, you found the name of the ship, I guess, so on the stern. What, what, what was the name of the ship? Andrea? What was the name of the ship? That's why you were going there, right? To figure out what ship it was, right? So Oops. what ship was it? We found many dead bodies inside the, the ship. Dead bodies. But we don't, we don't know what ship it is? I hmm. didn't pay attention. I was a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay, understandable. No worries. We'll figure this out. Um, Perhaps we could uh, take a sail around the stern as we as we head out to the port, and maybe we can catch the name on the stern as we as we uh, as we come around. Um, so they get the captain yells at the crew, tells the crew to get underway, and um, suggests that you all um, get someplace secure and maybe take care of yourselves for a moment, and then there should be only a short sail of, of an hour to get to uh, actually into the port. Um, Good idea. Yeah, Molly nods, Molly nods. The, uh, the, the crew starts scrambling, running back and forth. They're, they're raising the anchor, they're dropping the sails. Um, the Doncast starts to pick up some speed and then comes alongside the wreck. Um, and you see the deck at this point is empty. The, the one creature that was there before has gone back below or into the water. You don't know where, but it's nowhere to be seen. Um, you come around the back of the stern of the, uh, of the ship, which is slightly out of the water. And uh, there you see the name, the Urtica, as you come around. The Octagon? Uh, the Urtica, U-R-T-I-C-A, Urtica. Article. And okay. Captain Glover says, oh my god, that's Ofric's ship. Oh. Hmm. There were uh -huh. a fair amount of dead people inside the ship. Yes, we probably left the old man as well that was with us. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna turn back to old man. Eh? <laughs> the wolf turns back to an old man and says, uh, Captain, um, do you recall... Uh, Furborgs and a Tiefling and the crew of um, the Urtica? On the Urtica, no. That that actually does not make any sense. The um, And there was one woman, I can't remember. Was it just a human? It was a nymph. Oh, oh an imp? N a nymph. A nymph, okay. Yeah. So I I do mention that as well. I just, just forgot. Captain Glover says that, that doesn't make any sense um, as far as the crew goes. Just like like this ship and, and like all the, the Malankai merchant ships, they're all they're all human crews, um, for the most part, with, with rare exception. But you, you, you said uh, Firbolgs and nymphs and tieflings. Well, uh, that's not a great mystery. And that's the, the great population of, of gall watches is, is mostly those creatures, those in, in centaurs, I suppose. Um, oh. You'll see plenty of them when, when we get to or Gaul watch, but but those those wouldn't be the uh, the crew of, of, of the Urtica. Interesting. I'm quite scared of this situation. Maybe we should go back to our continent. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What do you think, Captain? Is it safe? We have a mission. We have to. We have to. Uh, I, at least I, my mission is to deliver you to Port Gallwatch, and uh, so you can find 
um, Ofric, if, if he is there, if he is still alive. If he is not alive, um, then I suppose we'll have to we'll have to examine our options again. Absolutely. Let's go and achieve a mission. Wasn't he on that Ortica we just found? Doesn't look like he's so much alive. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, and uh, Captain, uh, do, 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 do you happen to know the the um, the Marisol uh, the the maritime warfare um, tactics of um, Gradadar? Like, uh, how do they fight against ships? Well, Gradadar, you understand, it, it it it's always been an incredibly peaceful nation. They they actually don't have a navy of of, of sorts. They have fishing boats, uh, some a few that when they need them. Um, but they really don't have any sort of organized military or navy or, or anything of that description. It's an incredibly peaceful place of uh, wonderful people. When I was there last seven years ago, it was just beautiful. Uh, everyone was so welcoming always every time I went there and, and there was never any indication of any sort of hostility. What, what do you suspect? Uh, you see, we kind of found char marks on the ship and tar, which do suggest that the ship was attacked with like ship siege machine. I don't know what to, like, how to describe, you know, tar, like, tar and, and fire marks on the ship. I saw the burning from the decks. I, I just assumed that, you know, when it had run up against the, the rocks, somehow something had happened to cause a fire. But, but tar, you say, that sounds purposeful. Yes, tar on the deck, actually. It's a mystery. I, I don't know. Uh, mm. I suggest we get to Port Gawatch and see if we can find Ofric if he's alive. Perhaps they'll have answers. Understood. I agree. Let's let's head for the port. Yeah. Okay. He shouts more orders, and the helmsman tur uh, turns the wheel. You come around. The wind catches the sails, and you start to make your way into the port. Um, which is really not far. Let me move your map. Bunch of different maps here. By the way, where is the dog now? For what dog? There was a wolf with us. <laughs> uh, he's gone to places. Okay. okay. Yeah, he's like the little girl's spirit. He comes and goes, just like that. Oh, okay. Hmm. But actually, she's still here. This well, period. yeah, now it's, it's on your shoulder. Yeah. It was a good dog. I liked him. <laughs> well, uh, keep having doggy treats with you. Maybe he'll come back. He likes mm. treats, I heard. Oh. Oh, nice. It's a big city, Captain. The Fairy Gate. Wow. It is. Is it a bigger city than um, Ma Mastos? Was it? Uh, ta -ta -ta. No, actually, in, let me give you a little information about the scale here. So um, it's actually not a very particularly large city. Uh, 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 Mastos is actually the, the capital. Um, of of uh, Calais Masters is of the um, you know, the kingdom of uh, Calais, and so it's quite a large city. It's a trade city, a port city. This is really more of an outpost. Um, the scale there's you'll you'll see two scales on the map. The 
ignore the bottom one. Um, that was how it auto generated. And I realized it really didn't make any sense. So I created the top one. Um, but as you see, really the, the whole town from side to side is really just, you know, maybe a kilometer and a half across. Okay, so it's a rather small. Rather small. Do, do we uh, perceive any uh, unusual activity or slower activity or, or people uh, not yep. acting normal? Well, let me give you a description. So as you come into port, um, give me a second, let me switch here. Um, you notice that the, the port, the port town, you see smoke rising from a few chimneys, but, but very little in terms of activity. You see uh, a number of people, um, as you're approaching the, the dock where you're, the, 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 the uh, pier where you're going to dock, you see a number of, uh, people that look like regular common folk that are sort of milling about. Um, but as they see the boat come in, they all turn and hurriedly uh, move away from the docks. Um, you notice as you are getting closer that their appearance seems to be very tattered, very dirty. Um, uh, a number of them appear to be limping. Um, and uh, the, the, the one face that you saw before uh, it turned and, and moved away quickly just was a, a, fear, a look of fear in its eyes um, as, it, as it saw the ship approaching. Um, there are no other ships in the harbor other than a few very small skiffs. Um, those are you know, small sailing vessels with, that would hold maybe uh, you know, somewhere between 10 to 15 people with a single sail, not meant for the sea, more for very short coastal, you know, short runs um, and a few rowboats but there's no other ships in the harbor. Um, you had understood, just to remind everybody, that there were, aside from the Urtica, there were two other ships, the uh, Kincardine and the Arbite, that had sailed um, from Calimastos regularly, and those were the ships that, did, did, that had disappeared. They would have looked somewhat like your ship, um, but you see nothing like that here. Mm. No ships here? There are no, there are no ships. Absolutely no ships, yeah. Right. Oh, here we go, that's what I was looking for. And is it see it any like ship breaks aside from the one we just saw? Sorry, any... Um, no, other, no other ship breaks, like uh, broken ships on the no. shore or anything? No other ship breaks. Hmm. Captain, maybe you stay a bit f away from the, the docks and uh, we send a party to, to inquire what's going on in this port. So, then Captain Glover gives you a nod. Um, the, the crew is busy tying up the lines to the dock. And um, oh, okay. he says, uh, I just understood uh, the way that this typically works is we would check in quickly with the harbor master. I don't know if it's still our keyword, but if it is, well, we'll have a quick word with, with his likes, not my favorite character. Um, if it's not him, it will be somebody else. Then um, we can go into town or you can go ahead. I, five of his men jump off the ship sort of right away and, and head right into town. Um, and Glover says, uh, I've sent some of my men for provisions already. We will try to prepare the ship as quickly as possible to be ready for, for whatever happens. Hmm. Companion, what do you suggest we do? I suggest just setting foot on land, nothing else. Okay, accepted. Who else? Uh, I personally wish to be on dry land too. Hmm. We need to investigate at some point. Let's go then, people. Okay. And I jump uh, off the of ship to the dock. Very good. So you get to the dock and uh, Captain Glover steps off the ship with you and says, shall we see if we can find Arik here? He should be here somewhere. Maybe that's 
he he's in uh his his office is where he he usually lives at least that's where it was seven oh, i years. nod okay let's follow the captain so the captain got, leads you up to um, a small uh, set of stairways that overlooks a, to, up to a, uh, a small um, apartment that overlooks the docks. And um, as he knocks on the door, the door opens right away. And a old sort of scraggly tiefling um, uh, appears from the door. Um, he's clothes are, are sort of dirty and rumpled and his um his face is is withered and aged um but he doesn't actually look that old it just looks like he's he's weather beaten um and he's wearing a some sort of a a cap with some sort of an insignia on it um that actually looks like it's the only thing he has that's in fairly decent repair and he looks at glover glover looks at him and there's like silence between them. Glover says, Arakir, what's happened here? And Arakir says, there, there's much to tell. Um, we, uh, we're, things have not been good here recently. Um, there have been problems in the North, uh, but all of this you will discover. Um, I think what we need to do is to register your vessel and then you should go to the nymph and talk to the men. The men? And uh, Lover says back to Arakir, uh, the men, you mean the Kincardine, the Arbite, the Ritika. And Arakir says, yes, some of them. So Glover looks to, to all of you and says, there's, there's something going on here. Um, Arakir here is, is a longtime harbor master, uh, but I, I, it sounds like we need to get into town to, to find out what's going on. Well, it's not like we have any other options. Uh, be assured, my friend, we will uh, inquire what's going on here. I salute the guy. And Arkir turns to, to you and says, uh, are, are you with Glover or are you part of his crew? Uh, so I introduce myself as Elvan, I'm a son of a tribe of elves of a great island on a mission to uh, to uh, discover and explore the world. Ambitious, to be sure. Absolutely. This is my honor. Well, I'm I'm Arik here. I'm the harbor master. I've been harbor master here for since since Skullwatch reopened. Um, so I'm at your service if there's anything that that we can do. Uh, harbor master, one one question, one last question. What are the lands worth exploring for? Ambitious and exploratory young people such as myself. He, he, his face is blank for a moment, and he thinks about what you said, and then he laughs. I mean, not in a evil way, just in a sort of a hearty way. <laughs> wow. Well, I, I, I guess you might be the one of all of us who is in luck. I think you will not have trouble finding what you're looking for. Uh, be patient. Very well, my friend. I salute him, and we go. So Glover says, I tell you what, um, I will finish up here doing what we need to do for the ship with Arakir, and then I will meet you at the, the Nymph um, in you know an hour or so. Uh, the Nymph's Rest is a tavern that is very close by to here. You'll find it easily. Just follow this road, and he points you in the right direction. Oh. So we go assuredly towards the nymph tavern, right? <coughs> I make sure they follow me behind. Okay, so what you guys do? I guess. 
the while, while that was speaking, Molly just uh, and I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but she did this. A shrug? Okay, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. So you guys carry on and you go in the direction that uh, that Glover pointed you? Yep. Yes. So very close by, um, you find a, um, a the, the building that he described, which is a two-story structure, um, clearly an inn. Um, it looks like it's seen its better days. As you're walking through, just the streets just seem seem dirty and cracked and and the whole town just has a feeling of oppression somehow um, sinking on top of it. Mm. But you make your way. Uh, on the way, what what could we notice of people in the street, generally speaking? There's there's not many because you're very close by to the docks here, um, but you do see uh, a few more. Um, looks like local people. Um, there are um, uh, one or two uh, furbolgs. Um, you also see uh, quite a number of tieflings, um, but they they all look like they are. Um, just dingy. Um, their their clothes look like they're in tatters, and they don't they don't stick around. They, as soon as they see you coming, um, they they quickly um, you know move quickly around a, a corner and out of sight. Mm. Okay. It is almost eleven, so we're going to wrap it up here in just a second. But we will just introduce you to. An interest, what you ah. find? Wow, the way you made this company. So many, you so are many amazing. NPCs. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk to each and everyone. Is there an into an online RPG game kind of thing? Lots yeah. of NPCs. Robert's not here yet, sorry. Okay, um, I think probably we should end it here, guys, because it uh, is 11 okay. o'clock, um, but this is where you are, so you are at the Nymph's Rest. Um, congratulations, good. you've made it to college. Yeah. Well, yeah. your, your company preparation here in Roll20 is really amazing. Really. Oh, wow, man. Yeah, amazing. Uh, that's a very nice place. I can smell already. Uh, is that Mr. Bean? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Where do you see Mr. Bean? It's Captain Bean over there. Look at yeah. that. And I he can see here. Matt can Mercer see when he was, I don't know, dressed up as something. <laughs> that's good. I love it. Looks like Captain, Captain, it's Captain Mr. Bean, I guess. Yeah. Bean, yeah. I love <laughs> I love oh, Captain Bean. Yes. Right. This oh. one, this one looks like a, a, an a adult film actress. I mean, all of okay. them look there kind some, of uh, chicks. Okay. Any, uh, any elf uh, beauty around here? Looks like a Final Fantasy character oh, there are over a lot here. Of, yeah. They're all models here. All the women are yeah. models. Okay. These guys, kind of. Before yeah, yeah. before we go, Richard, I'd like to to attempt a perception check to see if there is a, a cute uh, elf uh, female around here. Oh yeah, of course. Please, oh, yeah. Okay. I don't need a perception check for that. I can uh, see some. <laughs> Evan, Evan. Okay, character sheet perception yeah. check. So I scan uh, I scan the the place and just uh, have a quick look. And you find this guy over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you win. And what do I find? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. It's not all right. Sadly, you don't see any Elvin. Okay. You're out of luck. Yeah, I'm probably a slightly ra racist as an uh, or the elf. So. No, yeah, there are some cute, but no. Nah. <laughs> We also have Captain Barbusa at the top left. So you have both Captain Jack Sparrow and Barbusa at the same place. <laughs> you look at this guy. Oh, yeah, you're like right. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. So guys, thank you a lot. That was a lot of fun. You guys did great. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Thank you, Richard. Very thank creative, you, uh, creative problem solving on your parts. I'm I'm a bit of regretting playing a shy character because I want to speak more. Yes. They feel constrained, but I'm having fun. That's you know, characters can develop. It's it, you know, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, me too. I, I kind of wanted to play like being in wild shape all the time, but it's really hard <laughs> to speak when you're a wolf. Ah, <laughs> uh, you have a wolf. Okay. Uh, no, I mean. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. All right. It's fun. I like you guys' characters. It's great. Yeah. All right. Um, so I guess I'll send out a uh, a text over the next day or two, and maybe we can we can think about when we want to reschedule for the next time. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sure. Looking forward to it. All right. Uh, Richard, Looking not to piggyback on uh, on your your game. Uh, okay. You guys are up for Sunday next Sunday, right? I think yes. so. Yeah. Okay. Yes. One thirty. Totally down. All right. Yeah. So, talk to you next, guys. All right. Okay. Good night, Cheers guys. For the games. Thank you. Night. Thanks Thank you. for the game. Thanks for the game, guys. Thank you all. Good night.